Alright my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So we're back in TW gang once again and this is another fresh update episode. This might not actually be the biggest and longest episode I've ever done but I'm sure you're going to like the changes that I've been making. Last episode is linked above my friends, feel free to go and check that out and do yourself a favour as well if you're a big fan of my Planet Zoo content, go check out the shorts on the channel. I've started doing some really kind of interesting things with YouTube shorts now that they've become a thing. Go and check it out, let me know if it's for you, let me know what shorts you'd like to see i'd really appreciate it but anyway we're going to jump in let's take a look at the work i've been up to and we're going to talk a little bit about some fresh additions as well coming real soon to the zoo because i don't know if anyone see but a fresh dlc is about to drop so here we are we're at the entrance my friends as we always are when we start any of my episodes um so basically a little breakdown of what you're going to see today it's essentially quite a lot of updating to foliage but i've done some work on the camels done some work on the horses i can never say the first part Part of that horse's name so I'm not going to try and say it now and absolutely butcher it so let's jump on in one of the big things I've been doing as well as I go along is um, all the new notice boards and all of the new animal boards because I'm changing all that up as well and I really really like the way they've come out over here uh, for this uh, this part of the zoo now I did say last episode that I was going to probably carry on working over here on the foliage um, I didn't do that. Basically, I needed to take a break from Foliage Gang um, for a bit. And so I actually reworked the Camel Hab instead. And then once I'd done that, I kind of was like, well, I guess I should finish the Camels. And then we'll move over to the horses and get that done. So I reworked all the Foliage over here. But, um, you know, I am going to come back this way because I, I want to finish this pocket of the zoo first. Um but do you know what? I'm really glad that I've started work on the foliage because I've been watching a few zoo tours recently and I was watching one uh, yesterday um, f uh, of a very, very good creator who has made a, a fantastic zoo. It's over on Eben's channel if you want to go and check it out. Uh, that's WED if you're searching for it. And the foliage in it just looked magnificent and so dense and beautiful. And I'm, I'm really glad that I'm going to take some time to do it and just try and get some of this concrete to disappear because um you know the more i zoom out and the more i look at it the more i do think that we it definitely needs to be dense i think one of the problems we've got with the foliage is this is back lot here and so it's quite difficult to kind of get foliage in these areas because they're quite big back lot areas but working it into the main zoo is definitely something that um we need to do more of basically which is why i have been doing it i feel like this zoo is one of those that when you're close up like this it feels really dense but when you're zoomed out it doesn't feel great but um anyway let's take a look at what i've been up to shall we so first and foremost we've got the camel hab now the big thing that you're going to notice with the camel hab is i've ripped all the foliage out and redone it i kind of wanted it to match up with the feel of the zoo the foliage we've been using and i actually wanted to rein it in a bit i felt like it was a bit overkill before there was lots and lots of different plants and bushes and stuff we were using and it just felt really overkill so i just kind of pulled it back i've kind of used maybe one or two different types of grasses and then i've thrown the odd kind of uh, bush in here and there and i actually think it feels a lot more natural i just feel like before it was there was just a, a, a hot mess basically so i do think it it feels a lot more natural um it's quite open here, but that's intentional. I kind of wanted it to be open here just because it is quite dense all the way around. And this was already done. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we kind of just pulled it all out, replaced it with kind of different grasses and whatnot. One of the big things I did do is I've opened all this up. We used to have a, a wooden fence go along here. Um, and so what I've done instead is I have repurposed the fence that we've got over near the buffaloes and I've brought that over here just to open it up a bit because I actually think, you know, it, it felt a bit closed in and whatnot and I do feel like opening up opening it up feels a lot nicer, you know, I, I really, really like it. Um, and uh, yeah, it just kind of runs all the way along there. I kind of redid this bit of fence back here as well. I just basically changed it out for the marquee um, posts. And I think that looks nice. I ripped all this out, 
just longer grasses made it all feel a bit more natural i've thrown in a few more trees here and there a few more bushes like so what i'm trying to do is work some slightly smaller trees in as well like this because i don't think everything would be really overgrown would it straight away considering this is kind of a zoo that was being built i said essentially where the narrative's concerned um you know tropical wings maybe has been open a couple of years now as it continues to kind of expand and whatnot and the zoo decided to just go back and refresh some old areas and like make them feel um you know a bit different and you know go for a new look where the zoo was concerned now as you're going to see i've been doing notice boards and i decided to add this one in as well i want to do more of this um when I'm building, I tend to go on Google Maps and look at a lot of zoos and um, in particular London Zoo is one I use. And the reason I use London Zoo a lot is because you can actually jump in on Google Maps and walk around London Zoo, um, you know, um, in first person mode. And so you can see all this stuff. Um, and I noticed that when I was walking around the zoo, there's actually a lot of um, there's so much more signage than I really um, pre like really like take on and appreciate there's so much of it you know at the shops there's multiple signs for for things and you know there's multiple kind of notice boards there's you know there's fire exit plans there's maps there's you know animal education there's um you know not just education boards but there's even stuff that's more personal like the animal names and how that zoo came about that animal and breeding programs all this stuff right now I've only obviously done information balls, fun facts, and I've, I've actually done this keeper for a day one, which I think has come out really, really cool. Um, this is obviously a character from the career mode, but I kind of found it and I thought that would work perfect on this sign. So that's what we're going with. The thing with my signs, gang, is I don't want to use like real pictures or anything. I want it to still feel like it belongs in the game, which is why I'm using all of the pictures from inside the game and um, using all this sort of stuff. Um, so I think that's actually really come out nice, but I think we need to add kind of like more stuff like this. If there's anything that like you can think of, like signpostage wise, that you think like maybe the zoo's lacking or that we could add in the zoo that you think would be a fun addition, feel free in the comments to let me know. I, I would really, really appreciate it, gang. Um, but yeah, this is going to be something that we're going to put around a fair amount. When I was looking around London Zoo, this was almost at every other habitat, which is crazy how many of these signs there were. And then they even had these signs up near shops and all sorts. Like it was crazy how many sort of signs like this um, they had around the zoo. And uh, so I've decided to add a few here so um yeah so that's kind of uh, this bit this is the fun facts one like i've done a i've done one very similar to what we've got over with the um water buffaloes over there we did the horns i've done the humps here i think it looks really really cool i really really like that and it was nice about this as you can tell the picture was taken in the habitat as well so that's kind of cool it's like really personal um this had sort of semi been done uh, all of this had sort of semi been done i actually ripped out a lot of the the plants that were underneath it though uh, as as you can see i'm continuing to rework this um this trim and i think that i really really feel like it looks better um you know do let me know what you think i know that that was a really controversial decision for me to make a lot of people really like this design but i really really like this i'm actually going to be doing stuff like later on um, I'm not do basically I have this thing where I want to make everything look old and I want bits of the path to look really worn out and walked on and um, you know like I think there might even be like this look I'm going to start putting things like this I've just been basically this was like a little tester to see what it looked like but I'm actually going to be doing a lot of this and I want this to all look really worn but I'm going to wait until maybe like once I've upgraded everything how I want to upgrade it and then I'm going to go around literally and just age everything up make dusty looking dirty parts and all sorts that's that's basically the plan um as you can see i've carried on with that kind of um you know vegetation around here it does get a bit dense up here i changed out the plants a little put these trees in um and i've changed out the grates because i'm kind of going with this design now and i just the more i see it the more i love it i think it looks really really good so i'm absolutely loving that and as you can see, a dense again over here. And again, I changed all the fences out. So 
we kind of got this fence here that you can't really see because the foliage is really really dense there um, and then just kind of more foliage I've actually added in a lot of like nettles and whatnot where it's really really overgrown kind of in here um, I was going to change these out for the metal um, kind of plant protectors that we've got over in the uh, water buffalo but you know what I, I don't really feel like we needed to I'm going to stick with the wooden ones and I think like I might even make one of them broken like I was I, I really I've I've started like this whole because I'm going for like a realistic looking zoo I've started exploring the whole like perfections in the imperfections and so i kind of want stuff to like i want some stuff to feel worn out and stuff so you know like little bits of broken fence posts and that sort of stuff that's what i'm really feeling like doing as we go along um again just reworking all the plants like around this side as well i did rework the little pool they've got here i just added a bunch more rocks just to really kind of uh cap it off and then i've added you know lots of like um nettles and all that sort of stuff here and some like wood and whatnot just to kind of really fill this out um i haven't really reworked like the sand i've just gone with this sandy look but i do think this grass looks a lot better than the grass we had in here before um with the odd you know flowers sprouting and whatnot i think it looks really really nice um and then yeah you kind of come around here and again you can see like we've got different fun facts um and then we've got over here another one of our keeper for a day and uh, another kind of education board i just think the new boards look good as well they're they're much more realistic like the size of them's much more realistic um i realize like from watching other people's projects though like i'm um, a big fan of eben goran and wyatt saint reginald um project if you haven't seen that go check that out as well um i'm a really big fan of that and the more i watch that the more i I realize um you know how much signage there actually is and how much kind of educational stuff there is because those guys are creating some fantastic things in their indoor sort of areas and around the habitats and i look at it and i think oh my god i really do miss this stuff i really do need to start creating this stuff um you know i'm back basically watching lots of planet zoo content i had a bit of a a bit of a time where i wasn't watching people um but i'm back doing it because i want to be inspired again because i'm really really inspired where tropical wings is concerned at the moment so yeah i just want to feel really inspired again and nothing fires me up more than watching you know other people in the community just absolutely smash it and create you know, grade A content, basically. And then I'll show you this before we dive into the camel hab. Um, again, I just upgraded all of the foliage in here. This, again, this was another one that was a bit of a hot mess. I think there was too many types of foliage in the hab all going on at one time. There are actually, inside the hab, there are three other than the trees if you just forget the trees there are only three ground plants inside the hab which is crazy isn't it actually no four sorry there's four there's the grass daisies buttercups and then a different type of grass that is all there is but it just looks beautiful like really really does look nice oh no there's another one there is nettles as well i did throw some nettles in here um this part here i pretty much left as it was because i actually think it looked really pretty um, so I actually left it how it was. I added some grasses and a little bit of stuff just to kind of dirty and mess it up a little. But then from here, I ripped it all out. I also reworked this. So they used this used to have two lots of fences and it, it wasn't needed. Like it really, really wasn't needed. So I've just put this in um here like this now it's a wooden fence and i was thinking do i need to change it out for the metal fence because they're quite big animals but then the more uh reading i was doing the more looking i was doing it actually you know as long as you know the sizing's right as long as you've got your gaps correct to stop horses jumping and whatnot then you should be fine i know a little bit about that about sort of equine species anyway growing up on a zoo and whatnot uh, growing up on a zoo growing up on a farm uh with my nan and granddad who kept horses and stuff so um yeah it, I, I kind of felt like it was right to just kind of remove that and then as a result of removing that bit of fence i've been able to like fill this out a bit more with planting and it, it it's just it, this had plants near before but this is just so much more tastefully done this this tr this is actually a tree right we got this in the uh i want to say we got it in the twilight pack maybe the conservation pack i can't remember but but it's a korean pine is what it's called but if you sink the smallest one of it down into the ground it creates a fantastic bush and if you combine three or four of them you get this really cool looking um you know 
piece of foliage and i absolutely love it i'm really in love with this tree as well I've, i'm trying to work some different trees with different textures into the zoo and i really really like this one um i've used that a couple of times now and again as you can see the planting all really kind of tastefully done and we come at this end and again we kind of continue the planting the way we have been we do get to this bit which is a bit difficult um you know i, I might add another tree here but this is essentially gonna we're gonna turn the corner we're also we're going to carry on in this direction but we're also going to turn the corner here but it's going to go up a level and uh, as you can see there's going to be this little bank uh, there's going to be a fence that goes all the way along here because i don't want the guests kind of being able to jump over a, a bit of me was thinking about maybe putting a, a couple of little sections of low fence in there with the gravel in front and then you can kind of look into the hab but a bit of me wants to just kind of do you know foliage in front on the gravel with this big fence and then there's going to be like a walkway over that kind of way as you can see it goes off in that direction because this is back lot back here but yeah i just kind of added all that in and yeah as you can see all the foliage just really changed it up there was just so much going on in here before now i think it's just a bit more tastefully done um i've left all this bit barren because i wanted this hill this kind of like sandy kind of hill to still kind of be like this and exposed and whatnot um with the odd bits of rock and stuff up here um and then yeah we kind of kept this fence as well and um i think it looks all right i think it looks really really good I'm, re I'm really loving it and i actually think that like the animals pop a bit more in here as well especially as we've kind of reduced the amount of um bushes and stuff like that so i think it looks really really good didn't have to do anything over there in their hab because that was redone a little while ago actually so i'll just take you over to the camel um hab gang so i did change this uh, fence up a little bit i made it slightly higher and i changed the gates out because um i'm not using the old style of gates i'm using this style now because i just think it looks a bit nicer especially for the bigger animals i kind of made this for the water buffalo and i think for the slightly bigger animals this does look a lot nicer um i w i didn't really touch this because this I, i'd actually done this a while ago w weirdly enough it kind of um works with the brief that i'm going for now and especially back here i felt like it really needed to look untended so there's lots of like nettles and whatnot but i might even add a bit more foliage in there like genuinely might because um it's uh it's very very kind of different and then yeah i just changed the gates up over here now there used to be a door up this end and i got rid of that door here I've just noticed that I need to just push that up a bit, but I'll do that later. Uh, yeah, there used to be a door here. I removed the door. Um, I've changed the windows up, but I've changed quite a bit up inside, to be honest with you, gang. So we are going to dive on in there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we made the door slightly bigger. Not quite a double door, but we made it slightly bigger. So we've got this section here, so it can open up slightly larger. But it's a similar door to kind of what we got over on the horses. And then, yeah, as you can see, I really, really changed it up in here um, to kind of fit with the feel of how my indoor areas are going now. A bit more delicate, using slightly smaller pieces uh, in the game. I didn't think that this actually needed to be as um, hardcore as it was before. I did big gates on it with these you know ridiculous um you know they look more like gates for like a carnivore basically or like a big cat or something and we just don't really need them um so yeah i just reworked all of this in here basically um, and i think it looks really really nice in here now um the little grates i've done slightly differently i've just kind of put them on this section um i was going to try and do it to match what i've done over in the horse but you know what i think that even though we're going with stuff that looks slightly the same it's nice to have a little bit of stuff that's uh unique to kind of each um have basically um so if i just spin this around as you can see we've got all of our usual stuff kind of in here all the bits and bobs up on the wall and stuff like that grates and whatever in the roof and whatnot um we kind of got all our taps and all that sort of stuff wheelbarrows we have got a little uh table up here as well you're going to see we've got some buckets with some food in and just just trying to just add a little bit of detail basically to the build getting rid of that doorway really could kind of did hasn't hurt us at all like i don't really think it was needed there's plenty of ways into the the hab rather than kind of having this doorway over here and um yeah like as you can see like 
it really works nice like the height of it is is just about right i think so yes that worked out really nice actually um so we've still got this section that is like um you know completely kind of separate um there is a bit of a gap so that they can kind of see each other for a bit of company whatever but it is completely separate that bit it's more that's more like the birthing kind of area and then we got this one that's like a double that can be opened and i changed all the door out so it kind of matches up with all the other stuff so we've got that sliding uh sliding door there and um i think that looks really really nice now um it's all kind of lined up perfectly and uh, yeah that would just slide across there and uh, yeah we've got this over this side i kind of reworked all the bedding i did a similar thing to what i did with the um buffalo as well where i tried to kind of get all this dirt i actually think i need to probably add a bit more to kind of make it look a bit more realistic um yeah, I think it probably needs a little bit of work there. I'm still kind of getting used to using the decals and doing that sort of stuff. Um, I'm actually watching like a lot of other creators and how they use the decals to try and um, use them. I think I genu genuinely think that like Caesar and Lyda use, the, use those decals the best. They're, they're the ones I'm watching a lot of to try and like nail how I want that to kind of look. You know, like I started doing it over here. Um, as you can see, just a bit of like muck on the bottom of the of the uh of the tiles and stuff like that and just yeah that's essentially what we're trying to go with but i think i'm just gonna have to leave all that detail until the very end but yeah i think it looks really nice in here now it looks really different to how it did before and this metal piece is just becoming a firm favorite of mine it really really is along with the marquee beams who I have to, again, I'm going to mention another creator, got to thank Caesar, because I asked him about like how he was making his backstage areas look really nice, and he said that marquee beam is a is the one that like really, really makes everything pop. So, yep, got to thank him for letting me know about that. And, uh, yeah, the camels are just beautiful little guys, aren't they? And girls, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Like, changed all the windows, like I say, just all the little details, added these little vents and whatnot, just, yeah, just all the all the key details that are needed, basically. The the, the rest of it hasn't really changed, gang. Um, I still think that, you know, it's, it's so different, this hab, to everything else we did, and um, I kind of like that. The doors especially look really, really cool. Didn't really need to change much of it. I actually used quite nice materials on this one, so, yeah, didn't really feel the need to change it, but... I think that's all I've done. I, I genuinely think that is kind of all I've done. Just a lot of work on foliage, reworking the inside of that. Um, you know, I did I did kind of continue over here with um, foliage. You know, I was, you know, kind of reworking it a bit. But um, like I say, I just needed a break from foliage. It was... Uh, I was starting to dream about grass and bushes and trees and it was worrying. So I was like, nope, need to take a break. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I've done, gang. And um, yeah, we're going to carry on doing this. I'm going to talk to you about kind of what's coming next. Um, there is a potential for a bit of a break in, in, in doing these updates. But yeah, let's jump into that bit now. So we're done and dusted, gang. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section below what you kind of made of the little changes. And like I said, if you've got any like um, ideas for like notice boards or anything like little details we could add into the zoo that maybe I'm not thinking about or I've forgotten about, you know, please let me know in the comment section. I really, really appreciate all your feedback. And, you know, it's a nice way for you guys to get involved in the project as well. But as far as what's happening next, um, we do have a new animal pack around the corner. And so um, I would imagine I'm probably going to you know um do some building um for those animals as and when i uh, get that pack so um you know i have got an idea of um the animals that i would like to put in this zoo i i don't think we're actually ready um the areas are ready for some of those animals which could prove a little bit of a problem but i'm just i'm gonna have a think about it and see what we can do um what animals would you like to see added to uh, Tropical Wings? Remember, I'm not going to add all of the animals. I think we're getting eight new animals. I'm not going to add well, eight new species, at least, aren't we? I'm not going to add all of them. But what ones would you like to see added to Tropical Wings? That would be really cool to find out. I think one of the big things we're going to have to do, though, is uh, I've got to retrofit this butterfly house because we're getting butterflies with that new grass and DLC. And um, it would be great to actually have the butterfly house working. But I think that butterfly house there might have to be deleted and redone because we're going to have to use the exhibit, the walkthrough exhibit thing to make that butterfly house work. And we all know that that exhibit 
item is so large. It's so big and... Um, yeah, that could that could prove an issue. It really, really could, to be honest with you. But we'll wait. We'll have to wait and see, like how the butterflies actually look inside it, and if there's any workarounds. But um, you know, it would be cool if we could retrofit that butterfly house to actually work on the uh, on that uh, kind of the Bugs Life um, insect house. So that would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, other than like the new species and when we get them, um, I am obviously, you know, not really going to add anything new for now. I'm going to carry on kind of with this updating stuff. Um, I actually think that like the, my, the feedback's been really positive. I actually think that like what, what's been nice is that people are really supportive of it. And a lot of you have said that you're really actually enjoying seeing like other, like old areas upgraded and stuff. So that's really cool. And I really do appreciate it, gang. Um, you you know, I, I really, really love the fact that you're really invested in this as much as I am. Um, and, uh, you know, I've had I've had some really, really good feedback. But, yeah, I'm probably, like I say, like I'm, I'm going to have to dive back in over here and I and get that planting kind of looked at in some of um, some of this area over here. So I probably am going to have to do that. Um, I'm probably going to have to take a little bit of a look at this Um I know there's a little bit of work that needs doing there. But once that's kind of done, then I can come over this way. Because there's a lot I actually want to do over this way. Um, I've been thinking recently that, like, I actually really want to rework this wall. I don't like this wall that much anymore. And I actually want to rip all this foliage out for a second time and read all that foliage. Um, I actually want to do some work to this building. Um, the roof, obviously, I'm, I'm updating all the roofs, but um, I actually do want to do a little bit of work maybe inside as well. I'm thinking about ripping this planter out and adding some educational stuff instead, changing that that wall up now because I, I think it could be made a bit more delicate. Um I genuinely think this could be done a bit differently as well. This is quite large. I think we could actually make this a bit smaller. I want to make a Primates of Africa logo as well to go on the outside. Maybe here. I would like that. Or maybe on the building or like on the roof or something. Um, I want to do that um, to make it a bit more personal. I'd like to change the window out. I just want to make things more delicate, as you all know. And the big thing I want to do is I actually didn't realise that I hadn't done it. I need to go in here and finish all this up. Like, I literally put all this in as a temporary measure, didn't I? Look at this. I did all the roof and everything. And I put all this in as a temporary measure and just never finished it, like, never finished it off. So that's a big thing I, I need, to, need to do, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, we probably need to go in and finish all that. I need to redo all of this because I, I, I just don't like that anymore. We could probably make these smaller. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of things I, I really, really want to do with this project before moving on. Like this building, I always look at this building and we go inside and look at this. This is compared to the camels. It's really good like to look at the camels and then look at this and you see the comparison. You're like. Yeah, this is just not working anymore. We really do need to change it. So, yeah, there's just so much work to do. But, um, you know, with every kind of bit I do, if I do enough work, I'll obviously bring it to your gang. But um, just be sure to get your eyes on the channel. We've obviously got the new DLC incoming. I'm definitely going to be doing some new Habs. We're working away on this. And also, as well, my friends, like in the in the next week or two, there is going to be new Planet Zoo stuff starting, as well as the shorts that I've been doing. There is going to be some really, really cool brand new Planet Zoo stuff uh, starting. So, yeah, just honestly, if you love the Planet Zoo content, keep your eyes peeled to the channel because there is so much incoming. And so there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wings, another update episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Just to kind of reiterate what I've already said... Um, Tell me what animals from the new DLC you'd like to see in Tropical Wings. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you think that we should be adding that I might be missing. And feel free to leave your feedback as well. I'd really, really appreciate it. But uh, until next time, um, be sure to stay safe, my friends. Stay humble. And I will see you on the next one.